Hey, Ghost. Year 2 has been a blast so far. We've released three special operation updates and brought very unique guests to the Wildlands. It is now time to reveal more information about Special Operation 4. Special Operation 4 will release on February 27th and will include a new PvE experience, a new Ghost War update, as well as special features requested by the community. Gorilla is a new PvE mode designed for ghosts who like involving challenges that grow deadlier each round. It is playable in solo with AI teammates or up to four players in co-op. In this brand new mode, you will need to defend key locations against enemy waves. Before each wave starts, your team will need to strategically choose their weapons and attachments. Once the preparation phase is ended, your goal is to defeat all of the incoming enemies and prevent them from entering the objective area. The more waves you complete, the more challenging your opponents will be. The last wave of each set will challenge even the most experienced ghosts, if you make it that far. At any time between waves, you have the opportunity to visit the shopkeeper to trade gear parts looted on enemy bodies for new weapons, attachments, and skills. As you complete waves, you'll be granted prestige credits, XP, resources, and an exclusive reward. We are very excited to see which strategies you will come up with to survive Guerrilla Mode. We are also very happy to introduce two new PvE features requested by the community. First, you will now be able to set the time of day when playing solo. Second, the compass from Ghost War is now available for all in the main campaign of the game. Finally, new exclusive items have been added to our battle crates. A new pack with military equipment has been added to the in-game store. All new weapons from Special Operations 4 will be available for individual purchase. Year 2 Pass owners will get exclusive access to the Active Duty Pack, which contains a new weapon and customization items. As a thank you for your support during our second year of Ghost Recon Wildlands, everyone who played during Year 2 will be able to redeem a special reward in the Ubisoft Club starting March 7. In Ghost War, players will have access to two new maps and one new class. The Sapper can deploy a specialized drone that shoots concussion mines. These mines drain stamina from players and suppresses them, slowing down their rush. Ghost War now features a custom match browser that allows players to see other active custom matches and join on the fly. Players can filter matches based on several criteria, such as HUD selection, map rotation, and so on. We're looking forward to your reactions to the last special operation update from Ghost Recon Wildlands Year 2. We'll see you soon for more, Ghosts.